All right, Shalom. I'd like to say all praises due to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Makakadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to all you brothers teaching in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe. Underneath the standard in the banner of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. All right. Uh, Salaki, I don't know what's going on with this phone, but uh, Satan trying to hinder this work. All right, and uh, get a quick fair use up on the screen here, okay, so that YouTube can read this and understand that there is no profit going on for this uh, video session. All right. So, I'm going to show this clip, all right, and most brothers my age, 40, probably to, uh, yeah, 40, 40 years old and up, remember this movie, and some young brothers as well, you know, this was a hood movie, I'm going to show a clip from it, all right, here we go. This is a minister society, all right? But we're just going to focus in on the speech that was given to uh, <laughs> the young Jake named Cain, all right? Uh, and Cain is two-third Negroes, all right? But listen to what you know, Charles S. Dutton says to him, which is, I forget the uh, the character that he's played, but he's Sharif father, all right? America isn't easy. The hunt is on. And you're the prey. All right, so just remember that. All right, the hunt is on, and you're the prey. You two third niggas, man. <clears throat> like we said, you know, that great millstone marching for all these uh, black lives lost. Okay, due to being the prey. Well, it's scriptural. Okay. And there's nothing that anybody can do about it, except for the the father, Yahweh, and his son, Yahweh Shai. They're the ones that can intervene and stop all this madness. And the Lord has proven a point with all these uh, uh, murders, okay, of two-thirds of our people, all right? And this has been going on forever in a day because the Lord has sanctioned this, all right? And you uh, you just want to get right to the scriptures, man. I don't want to make this too lengthy, okay? So we're going to start at uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 25. All right, and mind you, everything that's above the the fifteenth verse in Deuteronomy twenty-eight, it's a blessing onto the nation of Israel, and everything underneath the fifteenth verse is a curse to the nation of Israel. So we're going to start out with Deuteronomy twenty-eight and twenty-five. It says the Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies; thou shalt go out one way against them. And flee seven ways before them, and shall be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. Okay. And that's what you that's what you see, man. Okay. You see happening. Uh there is no way to come back the oppressor of this kingdom. Okay. 
and you read uh, Zephaniah, all right, and we're going to get that, it tells you, okay, it's no way to combat your oppressor. It's no way to. And trusting in him is only a fool's move. It's a trap, okay? But what you see is you trying to combat him with marching. Marching does not work. It's not going to work, okay? And the men of the Lord keep on saying the same thing. Carnal ideas will not work against a man that is king of being carnal. And that is Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, your oppressor that's here in Babylon the Great, which is a.k.a. America, okay? This is the land of Sodom and Gomorrah, Egypt, and Babylon all rolled into one, okay? Because it's a filthy kingdom, okay? And it took on all the ways of all those filthy kingdoms and added it into one place. But you Negroes... Two-thirds of you Negroes, you're going to learn the hard way. And it's going to be to your demise, man. Okay? The Lord is going to keep on ration on you two-thirds Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans in this manner. Okay? Until you get the point, man. And the point is your help will be in spirituality, not in carnality. You can't pick up a weapon against a person that is the king of weapons. That's Esau's blessings. Okay? Bullets run out. Esau got enough. You don't. Okay? Marching. Let's see what marching does. Let's go to Zephaniah real quick. For you uh, smart, smart niggas. Okay? Not Zephaniah, uh... What the what the what the what the what the what the Salaki Let me get it real quick. This is Zechariah eleven and five, Salaki brothers. It was whose possessors slayed them and hold themselves not guilty. Let's 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 get the whole thing. This is Zechariah eleven. And I'll start at uh, three. There's a voice of the howling of the shepherds. That's the so-called men of the Lord, which are, you know, the hopeful elect. All right. For the glory is spoiled. All right. Our people is spoiled. They're done. A voice of the roaring of young lions for the pride of Jordan is spoiled. All right. It's not enough. It's not enough people into the word of the heavenly Father, man. And for that, it says, "Thus said the Lord, My power feed the flock of the slaughter, whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich. And their own shepherds pity them not. Okay, because when you you got to understand when um." Uh, Slave trade was happening, and we got over here, and we were slaved on the plantations, man. They got 100% uh, profit, okay? 100% profit. That's why they're so uh, rich today, okay? The so-called white man, even down to his lineage. You know, average Joe uh, 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 Edomite, okay? That's why they're so rich. That's why they are leaps and bounds of head of us because of the 100% profit that their families gained in the land of Babylon the Great, okay? And that's why they say they are blessed, all right? And they say you niggas don't know <clears throat> who your master is, okay? <laughs> and if you knew who your master was, well, he don't care because he put you in slavery, he let you go this far, okay, without him. So he must be don't care. That's that's how the so-called white man looks at us. That's why they, they're they able to put that with three-fifths of a man, okay, in their, in their so-called constitution, all right, because they say our shepherd doesn't pity us, okay? The Lord is not looking for us. He doesn't care if we're lost. That's what they're saying. And... Two thirds of you niggas, uh, uh, <laughs> you're not you're not going to be able to turn back 
but let's get on with the scriptures given okay for that we're gonna go to uh, uh isaiah all right it says uh isaiah 30 and 1 woe to the rebellious children said the lord that take counsel but not of me and that cover with a covering but not of my spirit that they may add sin to sin okay so when you get covered with the blm movement okay that has so many uh fractions in it different uh outlooks it's not it's not counsel of the lord okay the counsel of the lord is those men that's out there on the highway and byways week in week out okay the men that's doing the work according to the holy scriptures according to the order that was left behind by Yahweh Shai, which is our lord and savior okay he is the savior you regular regular degla niggas are not going to be able to save yourself man and we keep on saying that and reiterating isn't, isn't people uh uh isn't more black people getting gunned down after George Floyd? Yeah, and it will be more until you turn to face your offenses, okay, and repent, okay? Tell the Heavenly Father and His Son, okay? And then He shall be the one that turned things around for the nation of Israel, but only the elect, man, because all you niggas, y'all don't understand the spirit, man. You know, it's 2020 and niggas are still saying that the Bible is a white man's book with all the proof on the Internet. OK, Google is your friend and you don't even use it. You're just interested in being regular niggas. OK, and sorry for using the N word so much. I'm just Negroes. OK, y'all just regular Negroes, man. Uh, without a clue in the, in the world, man. And that's all right. But the Lord, he's going to punish you severely for that. Okay? Let's get that. For not listening to the word of the Heavenly Father, man. He's going to he's gonna get down on you, you, uh, you jakes, man. Okay? That's Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay? Let's go back there. I ain't, I ain't finished reading that. Before I go on. Verse 2. Okay? It says that walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh. OK. And to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore, shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame and the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. Now, aren't we aren't we at that point today? OK. Today we are at that point. What's this? Uh, June, June fourteenth, I believe, June fourteenth, twenty twenty. We're at that point, okay? For for you, uh, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans in in the land of Babylon the Great, man, you got you got the the natives out there, okay? The indigenous people of this country, all right, which are the nation of Israel, mind you, asking for help from the very man that put them on them resis, man. Okay? And them resis ain't even built up. They're not even in modern times on them reservations. That just shows you what was read in Zechariah 11 and 5, what he thinks of those people, man. Instead of asking for strength from, uh, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, which they always, they chant it, okay? But they don't believe in it, okay? They, they want to believe in another God in that place. And that's a whole nother topic, man. But the Lord, he's, he's going to show you, man. He's going to show you his might. And he's going to put all of y'all to death, man, if y'all don't come back to the Heavenly Father, okay? What's their name? This Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, man. Those are are your strength in this time man that is the strong tower that you got to run into it's going to keep on happening man it's going to keep on happening until you negroes latinos and native americans wake up okay and, and, and come back to the heavenly father 
holy and spiritually minded. Okay. Turn on to the Lord, man. I'm telling you, it's the only way out of here. Okay. And we're not here to save all the nation of Israel, man. So get that out of your mind, too. We're not here for that, man. We're only here for the 144,000. Okay, 12,000 from out of each tribe of the nation of Israel. It's 12 tribes. And we only taking 12,000. The Lord is only taking 12,000. We're only trying to wake up when we're trying to fish for the only 12,000 out of each tribe of Israel. 12 tribes, 12,000 from each. Okay? That's what we're fishing for. All right? Let's go. Let's go. All right. Let me get this, this scripture. I don't want to be rambling on, but I, I do that. Uh, okay. So this, this is what's going to keep on happening, man. This is Isaiah 10 and 1. War unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. This is so-called white man. He writes these laws that only benefit him and puts you in a pit, puts you in the grave, uh, leaves you without justice. To turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people that widows may be their prey. Okay. And that they may rob the fatherless, okay? Because when you read John 10 and 10, hey, that's what the so-called white man is made for, man. That's that's his whole mission. And it tells you why. And what will you do in the day of visitation and in the desolation, which shall come from far, okay? So the them Edomites, man, they came from far, okay? To come over here and ransack the... Uh, the the indigenous people over here then they came from afar to go over there and, and and gather up the true israelites of the bible bible from the west coast of africa which we are not hamites we are negroes okay F from shem not ham okay ham is the progenitor of all those african races okay over there but not the negro zondervan bible bible dictionary states that okay Side note, but uh, <clears throat> like I was said, all right, those those Edomites came from far and wide to put our people in captivity and bondage on every occasion, man. Okay, whether they went to uh, South America, North America, West Coast of Africa, they were brought far and near to us only to put us in. Uh, uh, a lower state okay and that's what this is going into and where will you leave your glory okay without me they shall bow down under the prisoners okay and this is talking to the to the Israelites this is the Lord talking to you without me they shall bow down under the prisoners okay the true prisoners <clears throat> are the so called white man because in the time of King David, all right, that rulership, they was all subjected underneath King David, the nation of Edom, okay, so much so that we had to run them off into the Caucasus Mountains, okay, where they dwelled, all right, so they are prisoners, man, they're prisoners, but they over us, that's why the, the, the ones that's supposed to be on top, we're on the bottom, man. Okay? So we're bowing down to the prisoners. And they shall fall under the slain. Okay? That's us. That's what we're doing. For all this, his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. Okay? Like I said, you got to get into this thing spiritually. You can't do it carnally. Okay? The more carnal you act with Esau, Edom, he's like a mirror. You act carnal with him. Hey. He's going to blast you. And that's what you're saying, man. Okay? And you don't even have to act carnal with him. You just have to act carnal and and, and not uh, give reverence to the Most High. And Esau will blast you, man. Okay? So wake up, man. Half of you niggas don't pray, man. Our Negroes don't pray. Salaki. Okay? You don't pray. You don't do the works of the Most High. You, you women... 
when women get killed by Esau Edom, guess what? Y'all haughty. Y'all not uh, uh, on to a man like y'all supposed to be. Y'all the blasphemous. Okay. Same thing with Jake, man. You're not on to the Heavenly Father like you're supposed to be. Because you're supposed to be the head of the house. But you, you, you're you right underneath Yahweh Shai. Okay, in the order. And if you don't take the control of that helm, you get treated like like uh, like so out in the streets, man. Like the Maya of the streets, man. Like it says in uh, verse 5. All right. Or Syrian, the rod of my anger and the staff in their hand is my indignation. So this is the Lord uh, pu putting a whoop ass. OK. On his people. Like the scriptures say. OK. He said that he's going to start at his sanctuary first. And guess what? If you are the nation of Israel. All right. And you're the wicked of the nation of Israel, which is the two thirds that don't pray. They don't uh, give reverence to the Most High or His laws. You're going to be taken out of here on the stretcher, man. Okay? And even in those days, you know, when you finish reading down uh, Deuteronomy 20, 28 after the 25th, it says that you're going to be <laughs> food for the fowls of heaven, man. That's how bad the killing is going to get till you... uh two-thirds Negroes, man, in the nation of Israel, man, okay, it's coming, man, this is the time of Jacob's trouble, this ain't time to play games and go marching through the streets, talking about we have citizen rights and all that bullshit, man, Esau's about to come down like a flood, okay, when you go down uh, uh, to these protests, man, you think them Humvees ain't hidden behind them buildings with them with them goddamn um, Brownings on them? The uh, the forty cow, forty cows don't leave body parts. They leave you mean a whole body. They leave body parts. They shred you up, man. And they can't wait to use them. They can't wait. Okay. You gonna see. You Negroes are going to see in the worst way, man. All right. Let me get to this other story real quick. Well, I didn't, I didn't read all the scriptures that went to the story, but this is, this is proof, man. This is proof that this is going down, man. Okay. So this is the, the new, the new shooting that happened yesterday, okay? It says, uh, let's get get into one of these stories here. You know what? Uh, I got one right here. This one's kind of better. It's, it's brief to the point. All right. It says, uh, video released the moment man was shot killed by police outside Atlanta's Wendy's. It says, the Georgia Bureau of Investigation and the Fulton County District Attorney Office are investigating a man's death in a police shooting outside a Wendy's. And see, that's Zachariah 11 and 5. Why are you investigating? The camera footage showed it all. Showed it all. The GBI said 27-year-old Rashard Brooks of Atlanta was shot by an Atlanta police officer as they attempted to arrest him and later died at a hospital after surgery. Okay. Channel 2's Matt Johnson learned that Brooks was the father of three girls, had a stepson. He had celebrated his daughter's eighth birthday earlier that day, the day he was killed. Okay. The shooting led to the abrupt resignation of Atlanta Police Chief Erica Shields, which women aren't supposed to be in charge. You see? So this kingdom's crumbling all the way around, man. And Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms called for the immediate termination of the of the officer. See? Got all these women in, in high positions, and this is the outcome. Men are not gonna listen to women. And they they they're not fearful of them. All right. It says late Saturday night. An Atlanta police spokesman confirmed to ABC News the officer who pulled the trigger had been terminated. Officer Garrett Rolfe, 
which seems like a German name to me, was identified as the officer who was fired. The other officer involved in the call, Devin Bronson, has been placed on administrative duty. Roloff, Roloff has been with the department since 2013. Look at him. They're like a redneck cracker. Okay. Also from the Atlanta Police Department first responded to the fast food restaurant off University Avenue around 1033 Friday night. The GBI says also received a complaint about a man sleeping in a car in the drive through and cars having to drive around him. Okay. So he was drunk. <laughs> you know. He was drunk. He was nice. Jake always doing something he ain't got no business doing. And that's the problem. That's one of the problems. Okay, and just remember what I read in uh Isaiah ten. Hey man, you, you don't you don't give reverence to the most high, you don't pray, you know. You don't do the things that's required of you. Okay? And the Lord is gonna take you out, man. That's 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 the way he goes. It goes, man. It's no ifs, ands, and buts about it. Especially in this time that we're in right now. See, that's that's the problem. You you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you refuse to read the word of the Heavenly Father. You don't know what time you're in. You don't know what place you're, you're in, okay? You don't need, you don't know what's required of you during these days, man. And you're gonna, you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna feel the pain now. You're gonna feel it, okay? I said, officer performed field sobriety test on Brooks. The GBI says he failed the test and officers started to place him in custody. He resisted and struggle happened over a taser, according to witnesses' reports. During the arrest, the male subject resisted and struggle ensued. The officer deployed a taser. Witness report that during the struggle, the male subject grabbed and was in possession of the taser. A taser. Okay. The GBI said it has also been reported that the male subject was shot by an officer in the struggle over the taser okay so he was shot one time over the struggle for the taser gbi director vic reynolds said in a news conference saturday afternoon the video corroborated the fact that brooks grabbed an officer taser ran a few feet away and then pointed it at officers before he was shot he's fleeing from an atlanta police officer and as he's fleeing he's turned he turns back over his shoulder with what appears to the naked eye to be the taser. Lawyers for Brooks family said that the tasers are not considered deadly are not considered deadly weapons by police and that Brooks should not have been shot and killed. You see? So there you have it. Alright. And you can't act carnal with Esau Edom because He'll take you on out, man. That's it. So the thing that I, I would say to Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you better get your spiritual game up, man. Because that's the only thing that's going to help you. Nothing else, man. Okay? Nothing else. So with that, I want to say all praises due to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakadash. And double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. With that, I want to say Shalom.